Good morning. Uh, today we will discuss remainder theorem. <coughs> what is remainder theorem? Let px be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. And let a be any real number if px is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a, then the remainder is p a. Now, what is the meaning of this remainder theorem? Let us discuss. Okay. So, let us see this first example. Let us divide x square minus 5x plus 7 by x minus 2. If we divide, the equation will be x minus 3 and the remainder is 1. If you divide it. Okay. Normally, if you divide, remainder is 1. Now, here x minus 2. If you compare with x minus a, if you compare this with x minus a, if you compare this with x minus a, what is a equal to? a is 2 here. a means 2 here. Therefore, a will be equal to 2. Yes or no? a will be equal to 2. Now, if you put this 2 in this polygon, here px is what? x square minus 5x plus 7. x square minus 5x plus 7. In this, if you put x equal to 2, x equal to 2, means instead of x, this a, a is what you have? a is 2. That is why we will put 2. If you put 2 here, the value of p2 is 1. Value of p2 is 1. So, this 1 will be the remainder. So this remainder and this value is same. That is why the remainder, remainder we get by dividing this polynomial by x minus 2. We can get directly without actual division. Without actual division, we can find the remainder this way. Without actual division, we can find the remainder this way. Therefore, when this polynomial, when P x this is divided by x minus 2, the remainder will be 1. Have you said? So, the remainder we can find without actual division. That is why it is called remainder theorem. In this, with the help of this theorem, we can find only the remainder. We cannot find question here. You see, this nothing is mentioned about the question. Only the remainder we can find. Okay? Let's see one more example. See? One more example x cube minus 3x cube plus 5x minus 2. If this is divided by x minus 1, okay? If this is divided, coincident is this one. That is x square minus 26 plus 3 and remainder is 1. So, this remainder is 1. Now, again this, if you compare with x minus a, if you compare this to a, x minus a, if you compare with x minus a, what is a equal to? What is a equal to? a is equal to 1. a is equal to 1. So, instead of x, we will put a. a means 1. Is it clear? So, when there is a minus 1, negative, we have to take the positive value. If there is positive value, there is plus something, then we have to take negative value. Alright? So, if you find the value of P1 will be equal to 1. That is, this one is what? This is nothing but the remainder we obtain by actual division. So, this remainder we can get without actual division. Okay? This remainder we can get without actual division. That is why it is called remainder theorem. With the help of this theorem, what we can get? The remainder of the division, not the question. We, we don't know about the question. The when p x this polynomial is divided by x minus one, the question uh, sorry the remainder will be one. Is this clear? Let us see one more example. One more example. Suppose x square plus five x minus 3 is divided by x plus 2. Now, if we compare this with x minus a, if you compare this x plus 2 with x minus a, what will be a equal to? What will be a equal to? This is nothing but x minus minus 2, right? 
x minus minus 2. So, x minus minus 2. So, what is a equal to? Therefore, a is equal to minus 2. a is equal to minus 2. Alright. So, if you divide, the remainder is minus 9. Okay. Now, if you put a equal to minus 2 in place of x here in this polynomial, what do we get? Minus 9. This minus 9 is what? This minus 9 is nothing but the remainder of this division. Okay? So, this is how we can find the remainder in our actual division. So, this is when px equal to x square plus 5x minus 3, this polynomial is divided by x plus 2, the remainder will be minus 9. Is this clear? So, that is why let us go back to the statement again. Remainder theorem, let px be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. Let a be any real number. If px is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a, then the remainder is p a. Is this clear? Thank you.